Welcome back to Big Nick's Meats and Treats. Today I'm doing a product review on a Thermo Pro Temp Spike Meat Probe. It's their newest probe that they came out with. It has two sensors in it, one for the meat and one for ambient temperature. I just ordered this myself. Full disclosure, I am a brand ambassador for Thermo Pro, but they did not send this to me. I bought it just like you would have to do because I wanted to do a fair and honest evaluation on this thing. So let's get into it and take a look. All right, opening the box, this thing is packaged real nice. It's well protected in there. It's got a real firm outer box. Let's see if I can get it out of here. And this is the booster unit. So the probes sits inside the booster unit and this, it charges in there also. And we got a little tag here. Let's see what the tag says. Tag says, always insert probe into the meat past this notch. So there's a little notch on the probe that has to go all the way into the meat to that far. So that's good to see. Okay. All right, how do you get it back in there? Oh, okay, I see. So there's kind of a little hole at the end there. You gotta slip the tip into there. And it comes with a charging cable and some directions here. I'm assuming we're probably going to have to charge it before we do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing and then we'll get into the features. We'll see you in a bit. All right. I got the uh, probe and the booster charged as the direction said, and then it said to download the temp spike app onto my phone, which I did. And now the next direction said to pair the probe to the booster and it says it comes prepared. So if I take this out, it says that the light should flash green, which means that it's paired. That's good. Very good. Okay, now I need to uh, attach it to the smart device. Okay, so we'll s scroll this. Add device. Device temp spike. So do I hit the plus? There we go. Nice. Okay, that was pretty easy. All right, I'm gonna look through some of these features here and we'll get right back to you. All right, the app looks very similar to the regular Thermo Pro app. So I can just go in here and click the meat that I'm doing. And here I'm gonna do poultry or turkey, I'll hit turkey. And then set. And then here it tells you to make sure that you go all the way down to the notch, just like the instruction said originally. Continue. Okay. And then it says to keep the booster away from the heat source at least a foot so it doesn't melt. Okay. Continue. So now it shows me I'm going to have a 165 degree target temperature for the turkey. And it shows the ambient temperature of 122. That seems a little off because it's room temperature in the house right now. All right, I'm going to go put this in the turkey. I also put another probe in the turkey so I can compare between the two. So let's go do that. See you in a minute. All right, I'm going to put the probe in. I'm going to make sure that I get it all the way up to the line like they said in the directions. Ooh, that one's hot. Okay, I'm all the way up to the line. And I put another probe in there as you can see, so I wanna compare how close they are in temperature. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I got the probe in the turkey. It shows it at 42 degrees. The ambient temperature is climbing. I wonder if 122 is the base because it didn't go below that. And it's very accurate with the other Thermo Pro probe I'm using. You can see that it's at 42 degrees also. So we're super close. Uh, that's a good thing. So I'm going to keep an eye on it and we'll get back to you. See you in a bit. All right. So far we're, I think about a half hour into it here. Started at 1036 AM. Yeah. So we're about a half hour into it. Just like the regular Thermo Pro app, it shows the graph. And uh, you can set a timer here if you want. It's got alarms. It shows your connectivity between the booster and the probe and your battery life. Uh, you can set what you want your low temp and your high temps to be on the ambient temperature. And as I suspected, I was reading here on the app, 
it shows that uh, the ambient temperature won't show until it's above 122. And then also in the box came this little card. So it's got some specific instructions on there. Make sure you insert it into the thickest part of the meat. Place it a foot away so it doesn't melt, the, the booster anyway. And don't immediately place the probe under running water after you've been uh, used it, so allow it to cool down. So that, that's different than most probes. And so far it's running real good. It's, like I said, it's been out there for a half hour and it's only 25 degrees out right now. And so the cold weather doesn't seem to be bothering it. And if I compare it to the other probe I have in there right now, let's see. It's within a degree, so that's good. They're within a degree of each other, so I think it's working pretty good so far. So I'll give you more updates in a little bit. So I think one of the things that's kind of cool is it has this nice cover for the booster because it's snowing like crazy out here, so I keep water out of it. And you're supposed to keep it a foot away from the smoker, which is good, so that's a good protective measure. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, one hour update. Everything's going good. I noticed here in the middle, it shows us how much time we have left. And I believe it is within a degree of the other one as well too. Yes, 95, 95. Yeah, so they're within a degree of each other. Let's take a look at the graph. So this shows at the bottom of the screen, what time you put it in, how long it's been in, and how the progression's going. You can share that with people if you want. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy with it. And I have the smoker set at 325 and the ambient is showing 323. So that's pretty darn close, especially since it's only 25 degrees out. See you in a bit. All right, our internal temperature shows that we're at 165. If I compare it to the other probe that's in the turkey, it shows 159. So we're six degrees difference. One's in one breast and one's in the other. The ambient is showing 332 and I have the smoker set at 325. So that's fairly accurate. It's hard telling which one's not accurate. So I'm gonna go pull the turkey and we'll take a look at it. See you in a few. All right, I used the temp spike probe when I cooked this uh, bone-in turkey breast and everything looks like it went good. I was real happy with how consistent the temperatures were. Now the instructions say you're not supposed to clean the probe until it cools down. So don't wash it until after it cools down. And then obviously I wouldn't want to put it back in the, in the booster box until it was cooled down either because this is plastic so I don't want to melt it. Uh, as soon as I brought the probe in the house, the uh, alarm on the booster went off because the ambient temperature got below what I had it set to. So that, that's nice to know that that works good. The whole time I was smoking, it was 25 degrees outside and the booster had no problems at all and I didn't lose signal. I didn't go outside and try to test the range though because it's so snowy outside. So my first impressions, real happy with it. Uh, the only thing I wish it was, if, I wish they had incorporated this probe into the already Thermo Pro app that exists instead of creating a second app because now I have to have two different Thermo Pro apps on my phone. But overall, real happy with it so far. I will put a link down in the description. If you click on that link, it'll take you to the Thermo Pro there. I'll also put a coupon code down there. If you buy any of these uh, probes, off of the uh, Thermo Pro website, you'll get a 15% discount if you use that coupon code. If it routes you to Amazon, I'm not sure if the uh, coupon code will work or not. We'll be doing another video soon. Tell your friends about us, give us a like and a subscribe. And until I see you soon, watch me work, baby. Watch me work.